<clears throat> okay, there we go. Um, hello, happy Saturday, you guys. Um, jumping in here a little bit, throw you guys a video, let you know what is going on. Um, I'm hearing from you. Um, I probably have gotten, um, you know, at least 20 messages in the last couple of days. Tina, why are things feeling so bad and so scary right now that we are out of all of the retrogrades? Give me, give me, a, let me pause you a minute. I've got a dog with an itchy butt over here. <laughs> She's spinning in circles. Let me help. Okay, we had a discussion. She promised me she would settle down. We have a, now have a bulldog in full. <laughs> In, in full uh, happy mode here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Tina, what's going on? Why, why are we feeling like this? Why does it feel so scary right now? A lot of you are experiencing um, a great deal of anxiety right now. I am too. Uh, I, I'm open and I'm empathic. And I feel and sense all those energy changes. And you guys are too. So that's what I want to talk to you about. Um, when anxiety flares up, don't sit in it. Okay. Don't, don't sit and go, oh, oh gosh. It, uh, oh, what am I going to do? First off, don't sit in it. Um, don't allow it to overcome you. You can, you can, you can kind of neutralize it. Take it, take control of it. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of the first things I want you to do is say, I am in control. I want you to say it with authority. I want you to say it. You can be pissed off and say it. I am in control. Bam. I am in. There's nothing happening that that is. Yeah, there's no saber tooth tiger, and that's what where that um, anxiety stems from is is fear. Clear back to prehistoric, but there's nothing happening right now. I am in control. Next, get up and do something physical. I personally will get up and toss the couch around. Um, I, I'm a weight lifter, uh, actually a power lifter. So uh, years ago, years ago I was, um, not so active with it now. But um, when you take physical control of something, you're telling the, the mind, yes, you are in control. You are in control. Um, something else you can do if you, let's just say you're someplace and you can't do that kind of extreme stuff, you know, um, move furniture, run the sweeper, that kind of physical thing. Um, uh, get a salt packet, like from McDonald's. And you're, you're, you've got to be like on the edge of the panic attack to want to do this. Okay. But it will help. Uh, take that salt packet and put it, Open it up, put it in your mouth. Yuck. It will break that <clears throat> connection of the brain. Oh, the dog is doing it again. The brain to the response, and it will help counteract that anxiety attack. Um, actually, anything tart. Would, can you settle down, Goofy? Can you want to come over and say hi again? There she goes. Full, full bulldog overload. Um, you can do the same thing with a packet of fire sauce from Taco Bell. Uh, with a lemon wedge. Anything really, uh, you know, that will trigger that response for you. Uh, it will kind of break that mind connection uh, of what's happening. Um, uh, take a proactive uh stance against anxiety. It's not something you catch and you keep. Um, let that shit go. Sorry, girl. Did you bump into me? Why are you so wound up? <clears throat> She's having a ball today. But don't let it overcome you. Good gravy. Um, now, the reason you are, you guys are experiencing that is because you're becoming more aware. You're gaining ascension. You're developing your own spiritual gifts. You know, she must just feel the energy off of me because I'm down here on the floor. Um, I'm kind of this is my spot where I hang out, but I don't usually do videos here. Um, but take a proactive approach. Um, you, it, once you catch anxiety, you don't always have it. All right. Let that, that myth go. 
um, do uh, some of the things nutritionally to help counteract anxiety. Number one is magnesium. Uh, magnesium, the brain needs that. Uh, it is a base element, uh, an electrolyte that the brain needs. Um, B, vitamin B, any, the best thing is the B complex. You need that B complex. Um, <clears throat> there are herbs that I have tried, uh, ashwagandha, that will help. I like to take mine at night though, because it does help facilitate falling asleep. Um, one of the other nutrients, uh, uh, supplements that I take is GABA, G-A-B-A. -A. And it is a, uh, something that the brain produces normally. Um, but if you're not making fire and all, all good connections, uh, it doesn't produce quite as much and you could use a boost of GABA. Um, Anything that you're taking, though, don't do it all the time. Take a break off of it. That you know, don't uh, don't think that's the uh, the third and final word there. <clears throat> but do not allow this anxiety that everybody is feeling. Don't let it overcome you. Kick back. <clears throat> um, the retrogrades. Let's talk about the retrogrades real quick too. Uh, <clears throat> what's going on? Why am I feeling this anxiety? Why, where is it coming from? And the fact is, we are no longer in a, any kind of a retrograde. Um, retrogrades kind of hold us back for a reason, okay? God created this whole grand scheme of things, and we don't see the whole picture. We think it's a Mercury retrograde, and I sent the wrong uh, letters to somebody, and, uh, you know, the wiring and some that car burn up. <clears throat> God's source is holding us back from something for a reason, okay? But the retrogrades do. They hold us back. Uh, they do kind of confine us. Uh, they're, they're there to make us uh, regroup, rethink, reorganize, anything with a re, redo. Um, and we, after the retrogrades, okay, here we are now. We are in a period of no retrograde. However, some of you may be feeling the tail end of Mercury retrograde phasing out. Um, the, the post shadow phase, I'm feeling it a whole lot right now. Mercury is very strong in my chart and especially the post, uh, retrograde phase, um, has a lot to do with my natal chart. So yeah, I'm feeling it right now. And even though nothing is retrograde, however, that's just kind of like the final, uh, push of the labor pains. Okay. Uh, getting ready to get this whole thing over and have some things uh, begin to come into fruition for us. The fact that you're all feeling so scrambled right now, um, what is happening? It's like uh, uh, <clears throat> the lineup at the racetrack for the racehorses. Kentucky Derby or one of those big races. Um, the horses have been held back because we've had that retrograde and that's the gate. Um, as we're waiting and waiting and the horses are waiting and they get nervous because they're, they're, they're building up uh, excitement and they're getting ready for that gate to open up and bam, the retrograde's over, the gate's open and those horses fall out the gate. They just fall right out or they uh, run a couple feet, wreck in each other. It's one, you know, one of those kind of races. That's what not having a retrograde is. We have been held back for so long that this energy was pent up and now it's finally releasing and we're letting it go. Um, we are getting into a time frame. We're going to be about 80 days with no retrogrades where things are going to go smoothly. Um, it's a good time to write those goals of those things you want to get accomplished. Um, you can't run willy-nilly down that same racetrack and expect to get to the end of the race. Um, write out some goals. Um, take a look at your, um, your vision boards. See if uh, there's something new that you want to add to those vision boards. This is going to be a prime time to set forth some brand new goals. I have been rambling on and I want to pull a couple cards for you guys just to close this out. All right, Spirit, can I get a couple jumpers, please? All right, very good. Aha! 
exactly what we talked about. The two of pentacles. We are getting it in balance right now. We all are. We are finally gaining control over it. It is something substantial too. That's what those pinnacles are. They're gold. Um, gold is the heaviest element also. Finally, something to put your feet on. And then we have the three of cups. You know what? It is time for just a little bit of relaxation. I don't want to say full-blown celebration because summer isn't even here yet. Um, save that for summer. But it is a very good time to begin to get back out, socialize, be with people, and, you know, not feel so blocked off to, okay? Open yourselves back up a little bit, um, but do it with kindness, do it with love, and, and you'll attract that to you. All right, you guys, I'm going to wrap this up. And you know, I never leave you that I don't bless you with love and light. See you soon.